Stroud watching for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown, Smith and Jigba. Are you kidding me? Yo, we're back with the Buckeye, CJ Stroud, the quarterback from the University of Ohio State. In another five minutes or less, scouting report or anopsis review, whatever you want to look at it, and we will get right into it. Let's start the clock and get under five minutes. Let's hope we can do it. Starting off, with why is there so much hype with CJ Stroud? Well, first off, the dude's got arm talent for days. And it's not just arm talent that he has. It's that flick of the wrist where it's like 20 yard. You think it's a 20 yard pass, but it's 50 or 60 yard pass bomb to Chris Olave. That's it's just effortless power that comes off his arm. It's crazy, man. And even when he's under pressure too, he's able to just zip that thing with ease and he's really calm back in the pocket. His, his overall mechanics will continue to improve and stuff. Maybe he takes one few less steps, but that's really technical. I thought for the most part, he was very much under control. He's always ready to throw. He's got that release rocking and rolling. He looks a little bit like a robot, which is something I want to say is a positive and negative. We'll talk about here that in a little bit and why that is a bit of a weakness with him, but he is very, very good back in the pocket with his overall understanding and feel. And then when he's extending plays, he's always typically, I would say 80, not always, but 80% of the time he's keeping his head up. He's looking to throw. He is a pocket passer and true and true, but when he is trying to extend a play, which he can do, he's got functional athleticism, nowhere near as agile as someone like Bryce Young, but he can get out of the pocket and create plays too. And I think he's going to utilize that more. And he did as the season went on early in the season he was very much stiffed in the pocket but as he got more comfortable throughout the season he definitely opened up in that part of his game and yeah he's looking to pass he's got NFL size NFL build six foot three 250 and there's a reason why a lot of these guys like McShay Brugler I think are liking him more because he's more prototypical he's got that size and overall build that you feel confident with now let's go into the reasons why and my negatives why I'm actually lower on CJ Stroud and one of those things is accuracy I think it's a big and a lot of these uh, things are kind of tied into that accuracy and we'll talk about these as we go along but to me, I've seen him miss so many throws deep that Bryce Young did not miss or some of these other quarterbacks. And like five or more, I could state off the, like the top of my head of passes that he just missed. He's going to have to work on that. Maybe it's a timing thing. I don't know. Remember, he's a young quarterback. He's a, he was a redshirt freshman this season. Give him a little bit of time. But to me, the 71% completion percentage is really not an accurate representation of his true accuracy numbers. I think those receivers, which I fell more and more in love with, Jackson Smith, the Jigba, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, heck, Marvin uh, Harrison, you name it. Those guys are studs out there and really helped him out a lot. I want to see him play a little bit more natural. Just loosen up, relax. You know, CJ, just like, just, you know, be a quarterback. I think at times he's, he's so robotic in his reads and stuff like that. And this kind of combines him with our next point, which is he got tunnel vision a little bit, or, or for fourth point either way. But he's got tunnel vision, and I think he's looking at one side of the field. He's forcing those passes a lot of times. Let's just relax, you know, go through your progressions, because he does go through progressions at times. But there are many times where he's just forced and throws and I think better corners are going to see that on film and they're going to jump it. They're just that's simply what it's going to be. And then final point I do want to make with him is that he's uh, I want to see him be a little bit better with his overall touch and his uh, move or ability with his throws, right? It seems like when he does release every single throw is of the same angle and of the same velocity. So that's something I think you can work on. I mean, he's had some touch passes on there like the Jackson Smith and Jigba in the Utah game where he got it over this linebacker. It was a great throw. Ends up in a huge play. Either way, that's something I want to see more consistent on film. Maybe it's just the releases I was saying or whatever. But overall, for me, CJ Stroud is a really good prospect, but I'm nowhere near as high on him as some others. I think he has a lot of things to clean up, mainly with the accuracy and ball placement and the tunnel vision. Those things are concerning to me. I'm biting my nails just thinking about it. That's why I have a second round grade on him, and that's why I'm not putting him in the top five just at the moment. Now, I'd still take him in the first round, but more towards the back end of the first round. I'd actually take Malik Willis over CJ Stroud. I like Malik Willis better than CJ Stroud at the current moment, but he's very young and we'll see what he ends up going into. But that's going to be it here for this five minutes or less, which hopefully we did it. Yes, we are. We are under five minutes. So that is going to be it here though for CJ Stroud, the Ohio State young quarterback. I'm excited to see what he does into year number two. I'm expecting a huge leap and what he's going to be able to bring. So I hope everyone has a great day. My name is G-Sling. I'm doing my thing. I'll talk to you.